Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. Today I'd like to show you how to make Sicilian cannoli. To begin with, add all of your dry ingredients. I've got my flour, my sugar, salt and spices. Here I've used cocoa powder, cinnamon and some coffee granules. The shortening, egg, and we'll start adding our masala as we're mixing because we don't want to add too much. In total, I've added about 80 mils of masala. Yours might be different, just depending on the consistency of your dough. Just transfer the dough onto my working surface so I can knead it. It's a little bit too much for my standing mixer, so this is going to be a little bit of a harder dough than usual. And just knead it for about a good five to seven minutes. Here I'm at about the seven minute mark and you can really tell that the dough has gotten a lot smoother and a lot more even in colour as well. So when you're about at this stage, you can stop, roll into a bit of a bowl, let it out into a disc and just cover it in glad wrap and let it sit at room temperature in a cool room for about an hour. For this next step, divide your dough into four bowls. I'm going to roll one and feed it through my pasta machine. At the highest or thickest setting you have it, so that's about number seven for me. And take a little bit of flour and just dust the outside lightly. Start pulling it onto a pulling it out into a bit of a disc and feed it through. Fold it over, feed it through one more time. And I'll go down each setting. Then you will want to dust it very lightly with some flour just to make sure it doesn't rip as it goes through, doesn't stick to your plates, your rolls. Fold it one more time, and pass it through for the last time. You can see it's a very flexible, very strong dough. And then I'll just cut out, I think it's about eight centimeter circles, just enough to fit onto my uh, cannoli mold. So this dough can honestly yield over 50 cannoli. I have a white bowl over the stove that I'm preparing with some shortening. Traditionally they are cooked with shortening, so I mean you can always go ahead and try with some vegetable oil, but to get an authentic taste, you're going to need to deep fry them in lard. In the meantime, we're going to start setting up my cannoli onto the tube, so I have some egg white and just a small brush. And I'm going to wet, first I'm going to make sure that this folds onto itself like so. And then I'm going to wet one side of it with some egg white and that'll be our gluing agent. And set these aside until we need to bake. And these are three millimeters thickness. You want to make sure that they're nice and covered with that oil. Shortening. Okay. 
and I cook them for about a minute, maybe a little bit less. You want it to colour and you want all those nice bubbles to start appearing on the surface. Careful because this is extremely hot. whatever you like. Traditionally in Sicily you would fill these with the ricotta based cream or crema pasticcera which is like a pastry custard cream. I hope you guys give this a try. Do let me know if you do. I'd love to see how it came out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.